What's going on everyone? It's your favorite Jealous Hater Apoc and welcome to the most positive and uplifting channel on the platform. So by now you all should be aware that for a decent amount of time now, Brittany Baby has taken a pretty hard nosedive based around social media. Her YouTube channel is basically dead, which would explain the whole rebranding thing. It seems like she got a little too comfortable picking up that vlog camera, huh? Because now it seems it's all backfiring. Anyways, a couple of months back, Brittany posted something up on her Instagram based around why she doesn't upload vlogs or whatever and why she's stepping away from family vlogging as a whole although to be real she was being pretty vague didn't really explain much at all which originally didn't really think much about because i figured it was all dribble but now i'm realizing that the reason why britney did not fully address anything until now was all because she wanted a pity party people to feel bad for her and to solidify this point here go figure the day after she came out with this video she launched her new business okay let the excuses begin hey guys so long time no see i'm gonna try and do this video one take <laughs> imagine messing up a video that's supposed to be candid and non-scripted that's so easy for me to say you guys already know me i could never do anything in one take clearly but i really am gonna try to film this video with limited editing and i was actually gonna write down notes and like points that i wanted to mention yeah 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 nobody needs a powerpoint as to why you stop vlogging just get to it nor is there any needs for high edits on this serious video it's supposed to be straightforward what is this a kk and baby j video i honestly just wanted to come sit down in front of you guys be as authentic as i can and just uh, just speak whatever comes to my mind and just get my feelings out. Okay, so being authentic is being genuine, you know, being yourself. So why is it does she have to try to do that? It's really not that hard. That is, unless this entire time you haven't been yourself, that you've been lying to people, which, hey, I'm more than willing to believe because that's all we see from you people. Nothing but fakeness. I know I've talked about this briefly on my Instagram, but I know there's a lot of people that don't follow me on Instagram or they do and they miss it and they're confused and they don't know what's going on. And I've gotten a lot of, a lot of questions in what the past has been two months now since I uploaded. Yep, left their audience to hang. Or people have noticed that I have changed the name to Brittany Morrow. There's no more Brittany and Baby. Ah, the end of an era. So, and I'm also gonna try not to be emotional in this video because as I was, getting ready and everything um i started to get very emotional thinking about what i wanted to say so all these emotions that she's feeling aren't for her fans i mean she left them high and dry the feelings are for her and for her alone she only feels for herself she's feeling sorry for herself hence why she threw the pity party in which she's only feeling bad is because life is no longer going to be as easy as picking up a vlog camera you're actually gonna have to work i vaguely explained to you what's going on so that's why i at least wanted to film this video i didn't want to leave you guys hanging you know like i have for the past two months i think the last two months several reasons why i haven't came on here and uploaded a video um i really needed the break in the space from this channel you know it's funny she takes a break just disappears from the people who apparently helped her it made her feel better. This was supposed to be her outlet. She says so later on. But she just ups and leaves them? Kind of like what KK and Baby J did last year in October. They disappeared for two weeks because they just needed a break. They wanted to be with each other, be with family, you know, live in the moment. Yet they call their audience family. They refer to the audience as family members. So like I've said before, anybody who watches these people, you're nothing but a number to them. They don't actually really care about you. It's manipulation. They want you to think they care, but they don't because then they do stuff like this where they just disappear and they have excuses. Also wanted to put my focus in other places as well. And I think because I didn't know what to say. So here's the reality of what she's trying to say, which again was vaguely stated on Instagram. Her family vlogging days are over. They're done. Finito. This has been a long time coming, but vlogging is no longer the money maker that it used to be. And I'm not talking about YouTube as a whole. YouTube pays fine. It's just that this genre isn't really interesting anymore. People are bored watching others complain and whine about their life online is no longer interesting. People are growing up, they're becoming wiser, and realizing watching these people does nothing for them in life. The people behind the camera don't actually care, they just want money from you, your number. It's one of those parasocial relationships where you feel like your family members, and they'll tell you that you are, but in all reality, they'll drop you like that without any warning. Britney just did it. I think definitely within the last year, 
these all these vloggers have proven to everyone that they are not what they seem but britney doesn't know what to say here because she cannot accept the fact that vlogging and vloggers are a dying breed well there's several reasons why i haven't came on here and it kind of explained um the sudden leave and the lack of vlogs and videos and not giving you guys an explanation oh now you think people deserve an explanation but not within this past two months you just decide now to do it right before you launch your business yeah nothing sus about that and why does she need to explain anything at all i thought the logic behind them and their community was that they don't need to explain anything at all oh i get it it's only when somebody like me comes in and questions if they actually pay their children so this video will be all about that an explanation uh why we stopped family vlogging and i guess what's next this should be good Ooh, i don't even know where to start or what to say it's very emotional for me because it's very um, bittersweet and it's actually really sad when I think about it. Um, Wouldn't it have been bittersweet if you didn't put all your eggs in one basket? Maybe if your focus wasn't just on using your children for money, you wouldn't be having the issues you are having now selling cups or whatever you're doing. You know, I think when I, when I first started this channel, how much it meant to me and how much of a, an outlet and such a positive place for me. Does she not have any real friends? It's like these vloggers are the most loneliest people. And I'm not shading her for that, but you gotta be really weak to rely and lean on the shoulders of people that you don't know and don't even know the names of. It's kind of pathetic. I will. Hey, look, an ad. You know, I've met so many great people on here. I've learned so many things. I've helped so many people. Yeah, and you left them all in the dust too. And what does she mean by helping people? And I'm only questioning this because vloggers have always said they helped or they're going to help their communities, but have done literally nothing for them. You know, except lie to them, deceive them, manipulate them, gaslight them, scam them out of their money. I mean, I'm not really sure if Britney and Baby falls into that same category. Karen Swan looks up to her, so I'm pretty sure she took some pointers not to mention somewhere within this video she literally admits that she used clickbait for money and followed what other vloggers and youtubers were doing to get more views and clicks so if she does that why wouldn't she scam people too it's sad to just leave it abruptly abruptly at one point this was a very positive and safe place for me to share being a young mother and everything that i went through with um being a young mother. Didn't she already say all this? Guess she did do more than one take. Sharing everything with Nolan and his diagnosis and showing you guys that whole process. A very vulnerable place for me where I didn't really have a lot of people to lean on and you guys were that person for me. You know, this kind of reminds me of this theme I've seen on TikTok and I don't know if it's gone to YouTube, but I've seen this a lot on TikTok. And it's where the TikToker says, I don't have 20,000 followers, I have 20,000 new friends. That doesn't make any sense and it's ridiculous to think so. And she can go ahead and say all that, but when you look at it she left all her friends in the dark and just disappeared and you know going through the separation being on my own everything you guys have been through it all for me for the past 10 years that's all personal things that shouldn't be put online you made money off of your experience which okay go ahead get your bag but you can't really complain about privacy issues when you show every aspect of your life online for money you made your bed Brittany, and now you're sleeping in it it's just been my safe place like i said to come on here and share everything with you guys but in the past year probably less than a year it became a really negative, anxious, bad place. Not all of it, but some of the drama that she's received is the result from her oversharing. These people like to overshare until it gets dangerous. It's always been dangerous and they know this. People call them out on this for years and don't do anything unless something happens. And even if something does happen, they still don't care. They'll still find another way to use their child for money. It is quite funny though, because there's a lot more people who support her, yet she punishes them for the acts of a few people who stir up gossip. I don't think that's very fair to her viewers. I think a lot of you guys could probably tell from the vlogs that or you could see like my love and my happiness for vlogging was slowly fading i could t i it felt for me it was more like i have to do this like a pressure to do this who's actively out here pressuring someone to show every aspect of their life and put their children online for money that is all personal choice no one forced her to do anything let's stop pretending 
someone held a gun to her head and even if she was forced to do so those are her children so if someone comes along and they're demanding vlog content she could easily just tell them to fuck off she's the one that put her life online she's the one that makes her money living her life and literally had no issue with it before and again she talks about feeling forced or feeling pressure to push out vlogs yet she cut off at least half of her community and left them hanging wondering where the hell she went get real in the vlogging world the pressure of being a vlogger and keeping content going but also the pressure of course of supporting my family and making money it just became a chore well for one taking care of your family isn't a chore it's a responsibility that's what happens when you have children you got to take care of them that's how it works in fact that should make you want to work harder but there's no actual real pressure being put upon her to push out content if anyone's going to understand out of everyone it will be her followers you know the ones that she left in the dark but at the end of the day we all need to take care of ourselves first and nobody on the internet controls that or can say what anybody does with their children and you know she says all this crap but i wonder which one of her children is the clout baby i didn't want to force myself to put my family on the internet or force to share vulnerable aspects of our life to get more clicks and more views it just didn't feel right anymore yeah no she doesn't want to feel forced to do it she doesn't want to feel pressured to put out intimate personal information she just wants to do it candidly does she not hear herself speak no one forced her to put out any personal information she put it out as a product this is all within her control her choosing when you're in this world of vlogging you know it's hard not to compare yourself and look at everybody else that's doing the same thing as you and you see like what gets them views or what they're doing to get more subscribers and i kind of fell down that hole you know that's really odd for someone who just claimed that youtube and her platforms are her outlet but here she is literally admitting that she used clickbait to get money and views she did that she just said that and you know with that kind of mindset on things kind of sounds like she created her own negative space and it didn't feel like me anymore you know and at the time too i wonder how many vloggers are doing the same damn thing she did i was going through a lot with my own personal stuff if you guys you guys know what I'm talking about. If the internet knows it's no longer personal, I don't know why these people do this, talk about their own personal lives when they put their personal lives online for money. That no longer makes it personal. It's no longer one of those behind the closed door situation. Everything's out in the open. We all know this stuff. Um, after Fletcher was born and just a lot of negativity that came from sharing that and being so public. Yeah, I'm not gonna feel bad for somebody who put all their dirty laundry on the table. She's literally feeding the fire drama videos all the hate that i was getting all the negativity that i was getting i had to cut off all my comments on my channel because i couldn't take it anymore because of everything that was going on in my personal life these are the same people who say that hate doesn't get to them very very life-changing things very scary things and very heartbreaking sad things that were happening um you know almost going through a divorce going through a lot of mental things a lot of struggles it was a lot my point remains i, I just i look back uh, six months ago and just think like wow i got through all of that not only did i you know go through it by myself and in my own life but also everybody had to see that too which is hard yeah but nobody actually had to see it you and your husband made it public you guys had a whole spectacle on instagram and people caught wind of it you guys did that nobody else if it wasn't for you two nobody would have that ammunition not that it's anyone's business for her personal stuff like a divorce and whatnot it's a very private matter but both of them are in the public eye and by not remaining discreet about it you fed the fire you fed the drama which created all those gossip videos it's your fault take some damn accountability so that's part of 
not uploading for two months i really just needed to get out of this vlogging world like i just had to really just remove myself and be like you know what i'm done i'm not sharing my family anymore i'm not showing my kids anymore oh god she sounds like karen swan but you know she's still actively using her children for money on instagram and tiktok baking on those sweet sweet sponsorships and brand deals anyways all you jealous haters that's about it there was much more to the story to this anime arc but i really didn't have the time to put it all into one video so there is most definitely going to be a part two to this video covering the other half of all this nonsense it's just kind of crazy though because we have been saying this for so long now that vloggers only push out content for money and britney literally admits this she admitted it she said the words so now we have proof it's no longer about memories we already knew but now the cronies and fetuses have no argument anymore it's done. And not only that, she talked about the numbers. She's pressed about the numbers. She's keeping tabs on them and comparing them to other YouTubers, which I'm assuming is KK and Baby J because they're buddies. But she tries to emulate them or whoever she's talking about, trying to push out the same exact clickbait and content to make money, to get clicks and views. What more do you people need? These are manipulation tactics. She just admitted to it, which means a place that she once held so dear to her heart, you know, her outlet to vent and rant or whatever she wants to do, where she apparently helped people. She was trying to make money moves on you and that same place. And like I said, yeah, people have said unnecessary things about Britney, things that I don't agree with either. But at the end of the day, maybe her trying to milk money out of the place that was once so positive for her created all the negativity she's feeling now. In conclusion, stay tuned for part two, you haters. Bye.